today, we will be looking at two more hex components. But no, they are not actually that new. But on the other hand, they are still not part of the hex official repository. So, we'll get started in a couple of seconds. First one is this status card. It is a very, very simple card, yet it would be awesome when you're transitioning to new sections in Home Assistant. So how do you install it and how do you use it? First, we need to copy the URL. In the documentation, scroll down to the section for the hex, copy the URL, go to your Home Assistant, in the hex, click on three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL, select dashboard and click on add. Close it and now type in the search field status for the status card. Remember that if you do install this one and if you do like this one, don't forget to click a star on the GitHub repository to say thanks to the author. Click on download. The latest version at the time of the recording is version 2.0. Download and that's it. Since this is a front-end component, we do not need to restart our home assistant. We can click simply reload and this should be it. We are ready to add it to our UI. And the great thing about this component is that everything can be configured through the UI. You do not need to write any YAML code. Of course, if you want to further customize it, there are some YAML options, but we'll start with the basic ones directly from the Home Assistant. Let's go to Overview, find where you want to add it. We'll create a new section. And in this section, we will add status for the custom status card. So what does this card do, how it works and why it can be a great assist to your home assistant? First of all, it has some default values. For example, it shows all the people that are available in your system. In my case, it's just me, myself and I. But you can also disable it so you don't see your own face or face of your family members. Next thing what it does, it groups how many entities are in the on or not off state. Why am I saying? not off state because it actually doesn't care if the person is at home, if it's open or if it's on because that all is different from off or I'm not home, etc, etc. In my case, I have two lights, one open window, six power down devices, two running scripts and connectivity, nine of them. But you can further customize it by floor, for example, basements, first floor, second floor, or area, for example, dining room, kitchen, bedroom. If you want to further customize everything, you can customize it by editing either domains or some other sections. For example, domains, I can say that I want to disable fans, disable switches, and based on that also the number of available or on devices will be changing. But as I said, this is not it. For example, you want to disable switches, but only with some specific domain. Or you want to change the color of it. For example, let's put all the switches in the orange mode. Lights, let's make them green. And we can also change the sort order or give it a priority. Same goes for, for example, doors or windows. We can change color, we can sort them. And also this goes for the binary sensors. Disable windows, disable door sensors, or just change icon, for example, for the windows. Let's make this one here. And the last thing you can do is remove specific entity. For example, power, bedroom power, and click on save. And for everybody else that also wants to further customize it beyond what you see in the UI, there are also other things that you can use here. For example, add extra entities, select which entities will be shown, color, show people, hide entities, etc, etc. If you do like this component, don't forget to give it a star to say thanks to the author. And the next front-end component we will be looking at today is this one here, material symbols. This one is, as I said, not new. It's actually more than a year old, but not a lot of people are using it and it's really awesome to further customize your UI. Once again, especially now since people will be transitioning to the new sections in Home Assistant. So how do you install it and how do you use it? First of all, this one is also not available currently in the hacks. In order for you to install it, you will need to copy the URL. Let's scroll down, go to the hacks installation, copy this repository URL, 
go to hex, click on three dots, custom repositories, paste the URL of the repository, and in type, we are not going to select dashboard because this one is integration. Click on integration, click on add, and this should be it. In the search field type material, and we now have material symbols. Click on it, click on download. The latest version at the time of the recording is version 2024.11.2, and click on download. Since this is an integration, we will need to restart our Home Assistant for everything to be loaded up properly. After the component has been installed, we need to go to our developer tools and restart our system. And the last step is to go to settings, integrations, click on add integration and type in material for material symbols. Click on it and finish. The icons are now installed. Since there are a lot of icons in the library, I think around 13,000 icons, yeah, you need to be able to find them. You can use Icon Finder tool, where you can, for example, search for the specific icon, for example, light. And as you can see, there are a lot of different types of light. For example, these one are outlined filled. This one is just outlined. This one is round. This one is sharp. And there is also option for filled. Let's search, for example, for door, where you can potentially see a much bigger difference. For example, this one is outlined full, this one is just outlined. This door is full, this one is not. There is also round, and there is also sharp, where you can see that edges are sharp. So it all depends on what style of the icon you want to use. But how do you actually add them to Home Assistant? For that, we need to remember the icon name and what style we will be using. For example, let's replace this light here. Click on Edit, Domain, Light, and I will be using M3O Light or M3OF Light for the Filled Bulb. Click on Save. This way you will have much bigger library of the icons that you can use in your own UI. And any icon that can usually be replaced can be also replaced with these icons here. It will probably take some time for you to get used to the naming. So M3 is for material design and then O, O, F, C, S, etc, etc. Or let's try once more. Heart. Let's use this one. M3 outline. Go to our system. Click on edit. Let's use this for this resting heart rate, click on pencil to customize it, and for the icon just replace it with the icon that we copied from the icon finder. Click on save and that's it, we now have a new icon. If you do like this component integration for the hex and you want to say thanks to the author, the least that you can do is click on star to say thanks for doing an awesome job. I really do hope that you did find this interesting and that you will be using either status card or material symbols inside your home assistant or maybe even both of them. If you did find this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it not just means a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you have any kind of a comment, question, suggestion, or idea for future videos, you can always drop them down in a comment section below. And once again, before I end up the video, I would like to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or as always, you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can also send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.